So thoughts on the game post 1.1 patch seem to be mostly negative. This is due to although some things being sorted and the game surprisingly running slightly better for some people, this new patch brought with it new problems and the feedback it seems is mostly negative so far. How's it going guys, my name is DPJ and if you enjoyed this video leaving a like it really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more cyberpunk on a daily basis be sure to subscribe. So I don't know if you caught yesterday's video but I posted what was my first ever game breaking glitch or bug, the first I'd experienced since the game had released. Yeah for sure I had the minor bug here and there, the minor glitch here and there but nothing was entirely game breaking like this one and it's the one I'm seeing many people experience and it comes during the down the street mission where you get that call from Takamura. This I know was an issue before as I believe some people never received this call, dude was probably just busy and forgot. But looking back at the patch notes now, for the 1.1 patch, it seems that they fixed the issue where Takamura didn't call you upon that down on the street mission. And while guys I can confirm they certainly fixed that part, now the mofo definitely calls you up but literally doesn't say a damn word but just creeps you out by staring at you to a point where it actually halts game progress meaning you can't progress past this point in the main story quest line. You can't use fast travel points and you can't use many features like double jump if you've got that equipped while you're in that cool and this counts as a that. So it also disables many features too. And really people this only scratches the surface in terms of what many many others are reporting and it's all over social media. People stating the game runs absolutely no different. People on PlayStation stating a lot of the NPCs from the city have seemingly disappeared. Now we know this was one of the changes they did, not in terms of making them disappear, but it seems as though they may have reduced them for stability purposes. Now we know this 1.1 patch was based mainly on stability and performance, and I have seen some people state that they are feeling a difference. But honestly, and I've said this in the past, the game on PS4 and the OG Xbox One, I don't ever see it being a game that people expect it to be on those said platforms. I just feel the hardware is just way too limited and in a way is holding back the game. And I've said it before and I will say it again, the game should never have been released on last gen, it just shouldn't have. But the fact in which that's where most of the money is at considering next gen consoles are selling out faster than they can make them, many folks are still playing on those last gen consoles where the majority of the problems are coming from. But the problem is, and it's to be expected, the game released in a dire state. The first few hot fixes didn't really change much. Game breaking bugs persisted for many players. And then we got the video from CDPR apologising about the poor release. Whether you accepted that apology or not, the main point of the video were the points mentioned in the patches that will follow. And loads of people were in reality depending on these patches to fix the game. But I'm sorry to tell you this, because as we know, with many devs confirming it too, the game shouldn't have been released until 2022. And one patch is not going to fix this game, it just isn't. And if it was, that one patch would take way more than a month. It would take months to fix the game with the many issues Cyberpunk has. And this just adds to the fact that the devs were right in stating the game shouldn't have been released. So one patch dropping after a month really ain't gonna fix much as many expected. And it didn't do anything for many, but instead add more problems. Now CDPR did say that this first patch would lay down the foundations for the second patch which we can expect sometime in February. But even then guys, I wouldn't put too much hope in that second patch. And I say this because I know for a fact many people are expecting game changing fixes which fix AI, open locked doors and add missing loot. These ain't going to happen anytime soon. These two patches are being made to add stability to the bare minimum of this game's foundation because that's where the problems and many problems persist as it does seem right now that it's just really poor coding. And we also see that fixing some bugs and glitches adds more in but it's kind of clear this game needs fixing from the ground up and it's going to take a lot of time to get this game going and that's a problem for CDPR which I mentioned in one of my previous videos. All the fixes that are needed are doing nothing but pushing everything else back and we have heard this from the horse's mouth in terms of CDPR stating DLC is more or less being postponed as they want the game running perfect before that comes or at least running much better and that DLC was supposedly coming after that second patch. The thing is if the second patch isn't as effective as they think it will be much like the first one, much like what we are seeing with the 1.1, 1 
what happens then? And to think guys, this game was originally going to be released in April of 2020, 11 or so months back. 11 months people, imagine the state of the game would have been if it released back then. The crazy thing is guys, I actually think the game back then would probably have had more features than the game we have now, features which in my opinion have been cut. Now I will state, CDPR want nothing but for this game to be that game we all expected it to be, and I have no doubt it eventually will get to that point. But the thing is, I fear for CDPR in the fact that by the time it does get to a state in which it truly feels like a futuristic next gen open world RPG, I feel it will have lost the interest it currently has and players will have moved on. Right now looking at it from the perspective of a gamer who wants nothing but the best for this game, that is how I see it. And I've seen it happen with many games in the past. Gamers are relentless and they move on pretty quickly and most are unforgiving. The path right now for this game and CDPR isn't blocked but it's filling in quickly. But guys tell me your thoughts on your experience since the 1.1 patch. Have things changed for you for the better? Does it feel the same or does it feel worse? Let me know down below. But on that note guys we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Cyberpunk on a daily basis be sure to subscribe and hopefully people I will see you on that next one.